Hey, it's David Baer here from Baer on Marketing. And in today's video, I'm not gonna be talking about my typical online marketing. Uh, I'm actually gonna be showing you something that I received in the mail and how online marketing, digital marketing, or marketing funnels today can emulate what has been traditionally done in the direct mail industry. So um, I wanted to show you this, uh, this envelope that I got uh, recently from uh, a company called the National Pen Company. Now the National Pen Company uh, sends these things out to different businesses all across the United States and I am a registered business. So I got this in the mail, uh, opened it up and uh, there were all of these different items inside including, and it's a big bulky package, including this um, piece of plastic with a pen in it and the pen has uh, my business name and uh, the city, state, and zip code on here, uh, and then a bunch of paperwork and a self-addressed return uh, envelope. And I wanted to sort of walk through the different pieces that are in here because uh, it's very telling uh, in terms of how uh, they have structured their offer and it's not very different from what we do when we are building out online marketing pages or online marketing sequences. Uh, it's just a different medium. So I got this pen and the pen uh, piques my interest, right? It's, you know, first of all, it comes in this envelope. Uh, there's this plastic inside, so it takes up a, a little bit of bulky space and uh, it's got this fake uh, handwritten, you know, things. So it, it sort of piques your interest, maybe. Uh, there's nothing else on it, so I have no idea who it came from. Uh, I know that it's, uh, you know, business because there's an indicia up here. Um, can't really see that very well, but it's not a stamp. Um, and so they're not fooling me that, you know, that somebody actually is sending me a personal thing, but uh, because there's this extra bulk in there, it piques my curiosity and I want to open it. And that's, you know, very much akin to either a headline on a sales page, which piques your interest and wants you to read more, or a, um, a subject line in an email, which piques your interest and wants you to open it up. So I get in, you know, I get inside, I see this pen, I go, oh, what's that about? And then I start reading. Now, there are a few different pieces. First of all, uh, there is this uh, sales letter. And the sales letter, let me just open it up for you here. The sales letter is pretty quick. I mean, it's, it's pretty concise. It basically says limited time offer alpha, um, soft touch with stylus. And it is actually pretty cool because, uh, you know, it's a pen and it's got a stylus on the back of it. So I can like use it on my, on my phone or when I'm at a checkout or something and they want me to sign the screen, you know, um, instead of actually signing a receipt anymore, uh, for, for credit card purchases. Uh, so, uh, it's got that. It's got my, you know, personalized information for my business. It says, Dear David, you have one of our top selling pens in your hands, the Alpha Soft Touch Pen with Stylus. Don't wait any longer to benefit from our first time special introductory offer. 50 Alpha Soft Touch Pens with Stylus for only 59 cents each. Your credit is good with us. Uh, and then it, it basically goes on to say, now, do you want 50 of these or do you want, and then a whole bunch of uh, other quantities all at this very special introductory price of 59 cents. And then it gives you a few different um, options. And it's, you know, one of these old tear off things that says valid for 30 days. Not that they necessarily know when I received this letter, although it probably is written on here somewhere. Yeah, it's coded. Uh, looks like 9-22-17 is here on the, um, on the form, so maybe, maybe, maybe if I send this in, you know, uh, after 30 days, they won't honor it, but frankly, I suspect they will. So that's that piece. Uh, very, very straightforward. It basically, you know, points out the benefits of the pen. Uh, doesn't really tell me what I'm going to get out of having a pen like this, so it doesn't really talk about the benefits to me of having 500 pens, uh, but it's, it's, it's kind of useful, right? Then there's two other pieces uh, in here. One is the uh, sort of description of the pen and, and some other um, options that I have for uh, different colors and, and things like that. Um, then it talks uh, about how to use them. Okay, so this is the benefit to me of ordering 500 of these things, for example. Uh, use your national pen, customize, use your national pen, customize, 
customized pens, excuse me, can't speak, to attract attention. Here are some time-tested ideas to boost sales and customer loyalty. Okay, so now they're saying, here's how you can use this to build your business, right? To boost sales, um, remind customers to reorder, increase your company's image, attract new customers, and it, it sort of goes into detail on how to do each of these things. So it's you know got me thinking, huh, do I want these pens? Could I use them to give away at a trade show or mail to people or things like that? And then there's this one little piece of paper that says a word of advice. Now on the back here, it says the price shown on the order form um, is an introductory price applicable only toward your first order. Customers love the product so much that when they come back to reorder more, they get upset because the non-promotional price is higher. Unfortunately, this is a special deal and we can't offer this super low price again. So don't be disappointed. Stock up now with this one-time special promotional discount. Thank you for understanding. And then it's it's you know signed by the CEO of uh, uh, Peter Kelly, so this is what would be termed as scarcity, right? It's a scarcity tactic to say you only have this one chance. First of all, they tell me that I only have thirty days to uh, claim it, and then here they're telling me stock up on any uh, on as many of these now as you possibly can, otherwise when you come back to us later, you're not going to get this really cool price. Uh, that we are offering now. So, um, and then here you go. There's a there's an envelope. Now, the one thing that they don't do here is they don't make it easy for me to order any other way. It doesn't say or go online and, and uh, you know visit our website. Actually, it does, but it's it's not very very clear. So, when ordering, you have a choice: uh, order online, but it's really small. And then there's a promotional code there by mail, by telephone, and by fax. Now, the way that this is sort of laid out, it's very clearly directed at businesses that are old-fashioned, that are antiquated, that probably aren't doing a lot online. Uh, the fact that it came to me in the mail, and the fact that really they don't feature this website uh, ordering option very prominently suggests that most people are probably not going to respond that way. They're actually probably going to either call up by fax, who, who uses faxes anymore, right? But this is the target market for these people. So overall, I gotta say, this is a, a really smart piece. They understand who they're marketing to. They've laid it out in a very clear, simple fashion. They have de-emphasized the online marketing aspect or the online redemption aspect of it and focused on you know the traditional old fashioned um, uh, mail it back in or give us a call approach to uh, uh, redeeming the offer. And this is very, very much what we are doing online as we are uh, putting our sales pages and our ads in position to be seen by people and then putting enough of an engaging, interesting offer in front of them with a bit of scarcity to encourage them to take action as they are consuming the offer. Uh, so I, I wanted to share that with you because, you know, what we're doing is not new. This is a uh, time-tested and proven approach to marketing. Whether you're looking at offline marketing, like this uh, really cool piece that I got in the mail, or you're looking at online marketing, you have to be strategic about what you're saying. You have to understand who you're saying it to and you have to understand what's important to them in the equation in order to get them to actually uh, take action. So if you're looking for help positioning your business more effectively in this way, if you're looking for help with online marketing, with online position, uh, with online sales messaging, sales pages, and full sales or marketing funnels, and want help working through the scenarios that make the most sense for your business, please reach out to me. I'd be more than happy to spend a little bit of time on the phone with you discussing what you're trying to accomplish and see if I can be of help. You can reach me at bearonmarketing.com slash contact and I'll leave a link here with the video uh, so that you can reach out and we can schedule a time to chat. 
I'm David Baer from Baer on Marketing. Thanks so much for spending a few minutes with me uh, going over this piece. I really, really like this piece a lot, and I hope that you got something out of this video. If you did, please hit the like button and share it with somebody who you think can benefit as well. Thank you.